I just banged my knee for about the sixth time oh, in a no, row. I just did it on Every that table. table. There we go. <laughs> I get them from my mum. Yeah. <laughs> oh. so, I'm so excited about you this too, and congrats and welcome to the cast. And this Thank is you. really exciting. Um, for you, for Tom, um, we have seen who's the girl with supernatural powers, obviously. Season one, you know, compulsion, you know, was great. I love that. For season two, is there any new powers that we haven't yet seen that maybe will now that mom's back? No, well, I think that I think bringing mom into the equation actually, we do see a different side of Lucifer, but it's not to do with powers. It's to do with his relationship with his mum and, and on a very relatable level I think um, this is what we've tried to do I was just saying before we've tried to sort of take take the weight off you know the sort of celestial being side of it um, um, and we're sort of on an even keel now and it's and, and so that's we, we've we stripped away a lot of the kind of layers of Lucifer and the sort of veneer that he has and he's you know and he will he will still re, uh, go back to that at times you know but um, but having Mum there certainly brings a new dynamic to the show and a new dynamic to Lucifer as we haven't seen him before. We maybe get a glimpse as to the man he was before he was the man we know him as. How will um, Mum coming to town uh, affect Lucifer's relationship with um, <laughs> um, Well, as you know, Chloe doesn't particularly believe that Lucifer is the devil. So, um, sharing the fact that his mum's in town um, <laughs> is something that he, he feels probably a little uneasy about and something that she probably wouldn't be able to cope with. So, um, it's something that we will, we, we will explore as the show develops, but um, right now he needs to sort his own issues out with her. Yeah, there's definitely enough to sort out oh, yeah. uh, for the beginning of the season that before... Um, before we, before we uh, unleash you. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, mom knows, obviously, her other son, Amenadiel. Um, she knows Maze. So there's there's already enough in the beginning of figuring out her relationship with, mm. with uh, you know, all those characters before opening it up to the others. Although, although I'm sure it will. <laughs> so what we've heard about your character so far sounds a tremendous amount of fun to play. Just it is. Trying to, trying to match sort of the charisma of Lucifer on screen and... and you know, mirror some of, of where he got those qualities from. What's, what, what's been enjoyable for you in, in kind of exploring this character? Well, I think very much like Lucifer, um, you know, in the first season, discovering kind of a lot about himself and being, yeah. being you know, in Los Angeles. The newness of the, the situation. The newness, yeah. Mom definitely has the same thing. Um, being in, you know, a human form and the newness of all that and a lot of miscommunications and things that have happened with their... You know, so it's very relatable in many ways yeah. and just some, in terms of relationships. But it's been a huge amount of fun to play because she's a lot more layered than I think people are going to be expecting. They're expecting this you know, hell on wheels, revenge-driven monster in some ways to come in and there's a lot of other elements to her there's a lot of kind of comedic elements um, about being in this form about she has a Needless distaste to say mum hasn't always looked like this and it's yes. quite disturbing for Lucifer <laughs> <laughs> has not always yes and uh, has a distaste for humanity um, so unlike kind of Lucifer's fascination in many yeah. ways there's a, a dark distaste so she there, she she is angry but she's a loving mother at the end of the day that wants that wants to be with her children so there's a lot of um, uh, you know heartfelt moments yeah. I get to play mom yeah. you know I'm not just this evil thing I get to play mom yeah. does that mean that Lucifer might have an alternate true form <laughs> that is a question for our writers yeah <laughs> Um, yeah. And with um, bringing mom to town, is she maybe going to cause other siblings and relatives and demons to come as well? Watch this space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to be very guarded here. Yeah. Um, all of the above. Uh, but um, I mean, the honest truth is, we are just about to finish episode three of shooting. Um, and we get our scripts for the next episode, and that's it. So yes, we, we don't really know we, what's going on. I can't past tell you. Four. 
but um, but all of these things have been discussed. Should we say. So for you guys, given the hype that was around that last second reveal, and we've all been waiting over the season to see these episodes and play this whole mom arc, what's it like for you guys that yeah, we're still doing it and we get to do it and dig into it and you know this big thing we've all been waiting for? We well, I, mean, right I felt away. the same it's as that, good. by the way, because when when we got the script, when we got the finale script, and I read that last page, I actually was like, "What?" <laughs> um, so I was kind of, you know, I was I was waiting in between seasons, thinking, "How is this going to play out?" And um, um, I don't know how I imagined it was going to play out, but what I love is the is that we've managed to bring this character into it, and and um, it's enriched the show. I strongly believe, you know, it's kind of. Uh, it's brought a new dynamic to the show um, because you see a different side of Lucifer. Um, you know, he's disarmed. Chloe is very disarming of Lucifer in that sort of human context, but actually, on a on a stripped down to the little boy and his mum context, it's a very different thing. So that's great for the show, but we've managed to maintain our sense of humour. Um, and we and get into it right away oh, as yeah. well. It's not like by which we haven't read episode six yet, but it's not halfway through the season. It's not that. You do, it's oh, not yeah. teased for a long time. You do get to know what it, what we it get, is. We get down and dirty is. straight away. Straight away, yeah. yeah. I think our first day together was like, okay, <laughs> yeah. here we go. Yeah, we had some There's, pretty big stuff on our first day, yeah. so yeah. Is Bob finishing with Lucifer and his brother? That was my question. Good. That was, that was my question. So glad you asked that. Is she? Um, Mom is finding her way right now. <laughs> She's so. of no fixed abode. She has no fixed no, abode, yeah. yes. I was trying to remember what you said at the other... Oh, yeah. <laughs> the other There's a very British phrase. Yes. Uh, no fixed abode. Um, but certainly puts a bit of a, a crink in Lucifer's life. She's certainly life. around, put it that way. Yeah. <laughs>